Hey guys, today's video is sponsored by AMD and I will be showing you three DIY holiday gifts that I made with my AMD powered Lenovo IdeaPad Flex 5. I made a custom holiday card because 2020 screams custom holiday cards. I'm finally putting those old random home video clips to good use and making a video montage perfect for Nana and Granddad. Last but not least, is the perfect gift your little one can give to you. We made a DIY chores coupon book. So let's get into these projects. Here's a glimpse of what you're going to need for this project. We're gonna start by going to canva.com. Inside of the search bar, we're gonna simply type in holiday card. As you can see, they have a million templates that you can use. We're gonna go for the blank one though because it's custom, so we wanna make it custom. My next big tip is to make sure that you have the images that you want to use for your card already saved in a file so you don't have to go rummaging through all of your images to find the ones you wanna to upload to Canva. I really love that the Lenovo IdeaPad Flex 5 allows for multiple pages to be used so I can create and bring up my files with ease while creating my card. So I started off with two blank white pages I pulled the images that I wanted after I uploaded them onto the pages. Now I am simply adding in my accents and my design aesthetics. I'm going with the Go Confetti. I simply went into Elements, typed in Go Confetti, looked through the options, pulled the one that was best for me. Now I am looking for the perfect font. This is so important. You want it to be jolly and you want it to be happy, but you want it to represent your chicness. Now they had a ton of font options inside of text, but I didn't really like any of those. So as you see, I just went back to the template and I added another page inside of my design and I clicked on the template that had the exact thing that I wanted. Now, all I have to do is align that onto my actual design by simply dragging it from the original up to the top page. I change the color in the happy and I just delete the middle page now. And now I'm starting to see this design come together. I'm gonna keep tweaking it and voila, it's that simple. Download it, print it at home, send it out to get printed, and you have a beautiful holiday card. Let's get into the video montage that will bring a smile to any loved one's face. You will have to download OpenShot Video Editor for this tutorial. Now note, it is free and it's super easy to use. The first and I think most important step is uploading your video clips into the tool. By the tool, I mean open shot. I'm gonna call it that, vice versa, just go with me. All right, so once we get all of our video clips into the upload box, we are going to start to adjust and shift things around so that we can see clearer. This system is so easy to use, you guys. You literally just drag your clip from that area up at the top and you bring it down to either track five, four, three, two, one. It doesn't matter. You can overlay them as you just saw I did there and I removed that blue piece that was just not functioning. This tool offers transitions, effects, you can go reverse, you can go fast forward, you can change the audio. It is super amazing that this is offered for free. So you're seeing me do my layout. I'm getting all the clips together and I'm trying to put them in an order that makes sense. Some of them were not shot in this order, but that's the beauty of editing. You can make it any way that you want to. So once I get all the clips that I wanna use, I'm gonna go in and adjust the length of each clip, keep the material that I want, and now we're ready to put in our transitions. You can see that I can drag a transition from the top and adjust it, or you can simply overlap your first clip to your second clip and it will create a soft, gentle blur effect to transition into the next clip. I chose to go with that because it's super easy and it's so pretty. It was just effortless. Now I'm gonna tweak the audio of us actually talking in the video versus the music that I'm gonna be putting on the video. Ah, I didn't mention to you guys. Yes, you wanna add music to any video montage. That is a professional tip right there. It just makes it seem so, I don't know, TV-like. So now that I have all of this together, I have it segueing into the next clip beautifully. It's transitioning flawlessly. The volume is getting adjusted perfectly. I am able to add my music. Now, 
You can use any music that you want to use. Say it's a song that's a favorite of the person you're gifting this to. But just note, if you put this on social media, you're going to want that music to be royalty free. There are a ton of free websites that you can go to to get royalty free music. You should check those out. I like using Epidemic Sounds and that is where I got my clip from. So I'm gonna throw that clip in, adjust the volume, size it up to fit exactly how I want it to fit, and then we're good to go. I know, I know, it's a lot. But with the powerful AMD Ryzen mobile processor, my editing worked seamlessly. So are you guys ready to see what I created? Mountains, taking in the beautiful nature. We're detaching from reality for a second, taking in some of God's beautiful. You see a fish? And for our final DIY holiday gift, we are entering into the chores coupon book. This was probably one of my favorite projects to do because I was able to do it with my son. As you can see, he is drawing all of the graphics for this design. I love that the Lenovo IdeaPad Flex 5 allows him to sit comfortably. It folds over like a tablet. It has an amazing responsive pen. You guys, this was just such the highlight of this whole project seeing him be creative and put it all together so just like we did in the holiday card we are going to save all of the images that are drawn right on the tablet and we're going to upload those into canva now to find a coupon booklet i literally typed in the search code coupon book i liked this template because it already had three sections which means when you print it you can just cut right at each one of those sections punch holes in it and voila you have a coupon book so with garrison's help i was able to find a cool font put the colors that he wanted on there and really make it personal for his father as you can see, he drew him and his dad, and his dad in his signature yellow sneakers, and him in his signature green sneakers. It's just so personal and so cute. I love the whole concept and idea. You're gonna go ahead and tweak with the size, the colors, and oh, before you get started, you definitely wanna get a list of chores that the person you're making this for can actually do. So my son is seven. Everything that I'm gonna write down is something that he can actually do. I'm going to find the right fonts and I am going to literally remove everything they have in the template by deleting it and then adding in what I want to put into its place. Here are a few quick tips. I personally like to use the same font throughout this project. I just switch the color and obviously the wording. It was super easy to put together. I think the longest part was my son actually drawing out the characters, but how sweet is this project, you guys? It came together so well, it's so personal, and it's just so colorful and so my son. I hope you guys enjoyed these three DIY holiday gifts. Comment below which one you can see yourself making for your loved ones. Thank you again, AMD, for sponsoring this video, and head over to the Maria Antoinette to learn more. See you guys soon. Bye.